Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Full Throttle. Today is going to be a, a quick little video and all I'm going over today is showing you how to pressure test uh, an aluminum oil cooler or anything like a radiator, this, this sort of setup, um, whether it's a transmission cooler, oil cooler, power steering cooler, it's all kind of the same idea. So what I'm going to be using today, um, where these this is off the C63, so it does have some weird fittings. So what we're gonna do is I picked up one of these boat plugs. They're the uh, plug for the back of a boat for the drain. If you get water in, you pull this out. And what this does is it, you can screw this clockwise or counterclockwise, and what will happen is, is it will squish the rubber, and as you close it, it will expand the rubber even more. So I'm gonna use that to block off one end of the cooler. On the other end, I'm gonna use a, a rubber fitting with a, a hose, as you can see. And I also have this pressure sprayer from Princess Auto. Now this is the, the same pressure sprayer you picked this up for like $12.99 when it's on sale. I did purchase some clear PVC hose to extend the original hose. The original one is, was quite small, but it, it would be enough uh, to do. I actually had this laying around as I made this for the transmission service to fill the, the transmission fluid on the C63 as you need to pump the fluid in from the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to use this before I use it for the transmission service. But again, you can pick up one of these for about 12 bucks on sale. You can even use the, the stock hose that comes with it. Now what I also have here, it is optional, uh, but I do recommend it is picking up uh, just a, a T-fitting as well as a pressure gauge with some barbed fittings. Pick it up for the same size hose and even some hose clamps comes in handy as well. So what I'm going to do is connect this in line. Connect that up to my pressure pump and then connect this to the line going into the, the oil cooler. And what we'll do is plug off the other end with the, the boat drain plug on this end. We'll pressure this up and we'll have the gauge to monitor the pressure. We'll pump it up to about 5 psi and uh, at that point we can monitor to see if we're losing pressure out of the gauge. If the gauge starts to drop then we know we have a leak somewhere. So make sure you inspect all your fittings, make sure there's no leaks around them first and then you can use some soapy water, spray down the cooler and look for any bubbles forming which will identify a leak in the cooler. Uh, ideally we want to pressure this up to about 5 pounds and have the gauge hold that pressure. That's the best case scenario that shows we have no leaks in the cooler. So let's get this uh, hooked up and we'll see if we got a leak or not. All right, so everything is hooked up, so you want to pressure up the oil cooler to about 5 psi. Once you have the system pressurized, you want to let it sit. Monitor the gauge to see if you're losing any pressure. Alright guys, and it's that easy to pressure test an oil cooler or any aluminum bodied cooler yourself at home for very minimal cost. This total setup is right around $25 Canadian and I have left the product links in the description below so make sure you go check that out. As you saw there my pressure gauge did hold 5 psi uh, for about 8 minutes. I did leave it in that 5 to 10 minute range and what this means is there is no leaks in my oil cooler. Uh, so if you are doing the same test and your pressure gauge has dropped. Uh, this means you're losing pressure, meaning there's a leak in the system uh, somewhere it's either in the cooler itself or possibly even in the fittings on the line that you've set up. Uh, so make sure you check everything, spray everything down with some soapy water and immediately if there is a leak it will start to bubble and, and foam up. Uh, so it'll be very easy to pinpoint where that leak is coming from. As always guys, I greatly appreciate your feedback and support to the channel. Uh, please leave your thoughts and comments down below. I love hearing back from you. If you do have any questions, please let me know as well. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribing to the channel. And make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications on any new uploads to the channel so you don't miss out. Uh, other than that guys, you know what to do. 
keep her at full throttle.